Uganda's ordinary qualifications in artisan works like welding will not get anyone into the contracts for oil development soon to happen. Uganda, however, has entrepreneurs who have invested in a training institution to tap into the oil and gas development phase. We realized that there was a big gap uh, in the market to satisfy that, that particular service line. And because of that gap, we felt that instead of continuously bringing in foreign, foreign experts, we needed to build our own expertise. Because we realized that uh, a couple of locals, after, after a, a year or two, they would get some of these skills. And when they got the skill, you know, in some operations, they would become as good as the experts. So we felt that was the missing link. To match the needs of the oil contractors, the institution which has city and guild accreditation will stick to international standards. Uh, it's competence-based assessment. And um, even after going through our assessment, we attach you to industry and monitor you as you're in industry. And uh, <clears throat> the, the, the students, the, the candidates will also be producing stuff. Uh, and the tests will be conducted under international uh, environments. Such artisans in the excess of 1,500 will be required for the development stage of Uganda's oil and gas industry. And in such trainings, the persistent gaps to support local content might start to be covered. Ingrid Nantege, NTV Business.